In the last video, I showed you the layout of the fretboard up to the 12th fret. In this video, I'm going to show you three memory exercises that will really help you get to know the neck. I'm going to be showing some charts as we go, and if you'd like something you can keep for yourself as a reference, click on the downloads link in the description below and look for the Learning the Fretboards PDF. This is a free download. If you're having trouble following along with any of this, you may want to check out the first video in the series, which should be up here somewhere right now as a link. Our first exercise is going to be naming the notes up and down each string. And this is going to be just the natural notes. Don't worry about the sharps and flats right now. And as you play up and down the string, it's very, very important that you say those notes as you play them. Uh, it really helps kind of burn that into your memory. Also remember that B and C are always next to each other, E and F are always next to each other, and all the other notes are two frets apart. I should say all the other natural notes are two frets apart or a whole step apart. So let's go over string one. You would just go up and down and say E, F first fret, G, A, B, B is always next to C, so C, D, and E, and then same backwards, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, and then E. Do the same thing on the second string, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and backwards, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, and then B. Third string, same thing. G, A, B, B is next to C, so C, D, E is next to F, so F, and then G, and then backwards, G, F, E, D, C, E, A, and G. Fourth string, same thing, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and backwards, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, fifth string, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and backwards, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, and then sixth string. Even though those notes are the same as the first string, might as well do them. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, and then E. And again, very important that you say those notes as you play them. For the next exercise, we're going to take some index cards, just get seven index cards and write the musical alphabet. So write your A, B, C, D, E, F, and your G. And then shuffle those up. And let's say I just came up with this order which I just happened to write down, E, B, C, G, A, D, F. What you'll do then is on every single string, find those notes in that order. So uh, let's start with the sixth string this time. We have uh, E, which could be sixth string, open, or 12th fret. Then find your B, and say and play those notes as you, as you, uh, as you go through this. And then we have a C, G, A, D, F. We're not going to go through all the strings this way, but let's go ahead and do the sixth string. So the sixth string, we have, we start with an E, which is going to be at the seventh fret. We have a B at the second fret. C, G, A could be twelfth fret or the open string. D at the 5th fret, F at the 8th fret. 
Now at first, it's going to take a little while to get through that exercise. You'll probably have to kind of count up and down those notes as you go. Let's say if I had an E to a B, I, you know, the E would be easy to find, uh, say if I was playing the sixth string again. But then I might have to kind of go through the alphabet, E, F, G, A, play my B. Um, eventually, you'll be able to find that B pretty easily, and you'll be able to find all these notes in relation to each other. The third exercise is a little trickier. What you're going to do is pick a single note and you're going to find that note wherever it is on the fretboard on whatever string from left to right. And we'll do two examples here. So we got a C. The furthest left you could play that C on the fretboard is at the first fret on the second string. Then you want to find the next C to the right on whatever string. So the closest C to the right is on that third fret fifth string and then the closest C after that is at the fifth fret on the third string then the closest C after that there's actually two C's because they're uh, on the first and sixth string and the note names are the same on those two strings so we have a C here at the eighth fret or at the sixth string also at the eighth fret and then after that you find your closest C, that's going to be at the 4th uh, string, at the 10th fret, and then uh, we're, uh, we're really only practicing up to the 12th fret in these videos, but you could go to the 13th fret and find that C. And uh, let's do this with one more note, let's do this with Fs, and again we're just playing from left to right uh, on whatever string. So the lowest place we could play that an, an F, there's actually two places because there's an F on the sixth string at the first fret and also at the um, first fret on the first string. The next after the, the next F after that is going to be on the fourth string at the third fret. Next after at, <laughs> having trouble talking today. The next F after that is going to be at the sixth fret, second string. Next one after that is going to be at the 8th fret on the 5th string. And then after that we have the 10th um, fret on the 3rd string. And then we're, we've uh, gone as far up to the 12th fret as we could. We could probably go to the 13th fret if you want and play those Fs there. This exercise, when I first started doing it, it took me a while to get through each note. That's why you want to pick, pick maybe just two or three notes a day. And uh, you could also do these with, I've, I've been doing these with natural notes, but you could pick uh, some sharper flat notes too. You could say find all your E flats, find all your uh, C sharps. And this, again, this takes a little work, but it really, really pays off in the end. And then finally, we want to put all this to use by playing simple melodies up, this, up the neck. I talked about this uh, in the previous video, but let's mention this again because it's a really important thing to do. It's one thing to name those notes and find them. It's another to put them to use actually playing some melodies. In the uh, previous video, I used uh, the uh, three notes of Mary Had a Little Lamb if we were playing in C, which would be E, D, C, D, E, E, E. Um, you could also do something like uh, pick of like a five note scale pattern, like the first five notes of a C scale, C, D, E, F, G, and then find different places where you could play that C, D, E, F, and G. You could do it here at the uh, third fret on the fifth string. You just look for groupings of those five notes and figure out some good fingerings for them. So we could do what here? C, D, E, F, G. Of course, play backwards if you want. There's a low one you could play here. There's one you could play here starting the same note, just a different finger pattern. So find something really simple to play and figure out different ways to play it all over the fretboard. It's a really, really great way to get to know the neck. It's going to take some time, but if you do these exercises five or ten minutes a day and then also spend some time playing simple melodies up the neck, it's really going to open up that fretboard for you. Don't forget to click on the download link in the description below for the free PDF. Look for the Learning the Fretboard PDF. If you got something out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with more guitar tips.